This is my scratch-built portable soldering iron. It uses interchangeable HACO T12 tips and is powered by a quick charge capable power, power bank by USB Type-C or USB micro cables. It is a very similar size and form factor to the TS100 iron and it fills much the same role but it adds the capability to use the ubiquitous T12 tips and uh, to be able to be powered directly from a USB from a power bank. The iron is able to negotiate for 12 volts from a Qualcomm quick charge compatible power bank and it digitally regulates the tip temperature which is adjustable. The temperature monitoring is done using a bit of a hack to a chip that's designed to measure current across a shunt resistor and instead I've repurposed it to measure the thermocouple voltage and experimentally determine that transfer function to convert that to temperature. If I monitor the tip with this thermocouple, you can see that this method produces reasonably accurate results. And the use of this power monitoring chip, which is the Texas Instruments INA219, also allows it to accurately measure the input voltage from the power source without any additional hardware. The iron includes a tilt switch to detect inactivity and shut off and it has a basic UI using two momentary switches which adjust the temperature set point. All the relevant settings and data are displayed on a small 96 by 16 pixel OLED display much like the TS100 and the housing is 3D printed in ABS and it has an internal temperature sensor uh, which will allow it to self-protect if the case temperature gets too high. In addition to allowing the use of T12 tips and uh, direct USB power, this iron also improves the grip to tip distance over the TS100 coming in at 55 millimeters compared to 70 millimeters. My primary goal with the design of this was to keep the size as small as possible, which if, as you can see when I hold it up next to the tip that it has to hold, it's about as small as I think you could do with the, the T12 tip as a requirement. The hardware inside is uh, relatively simple. The power to the tip is controlled just via uh, two MOSFETs that I have in parallel and those are in uh, SOT23 packages. Over here you can see some of the resistors that are required to do the quick charge negotiation with the power bank. This green circuit board with the spring contacts on it is uh, just a cheap T12 tip holder um, that's widely available and it's been trimmed down quite a bit. And it is uh, held quite firmly in place by the 3D printed case which it's glued to. Over here are the momentary switches with a little switch cap to press them. And then here is the OLED display which is connected uh, directly to this, which is a, one of my general purpose OLED display boards, which is basically a microcontroller breakout that includes the solder contacts for the flat flex connector on the OLED. This is the tilt switch, which I pulled from a, a T12 cheap soldering iron handle. And over here you can see the thermistor that is monitoring the internal case temperature very close to the, the front. Um, so it can self-protect if the plastic starts to get too hot. And then the um, temperature monitoring for the tip is handled by this part hidden down in there, the INA219. And that is it for the hardware. The uh, whole case is 3D printed in ABS and includes um, these M2 uh, threaded inserts for the three M2 screws that hold it together. At this power level, it takes it about 40 seconds to come up to soldering temperature, uh, but once it's up to temperature, it has no trouble maintaining it. <clears throat> and uh, this 
LED that's on the uh, breakout board is just turning on any time the heater is actually powered, much like uh, some benchtop soldering stations do. Thanks for watching.